follow me on this journey as i take you through how i read 200 to 300 pages in a day while i go about my normal routine as a teacher i absorb information from these books with a twist while walking or commuting i'm able to do this because i don't do it like the normal way so i'm going to take you through the step-by-step -step approach after i've decided on the books to read you know i wouldn't do it like the normal way you all do it where you just go to the chapter one and you begin reading because of how i do it i'm always not stressed up i sleep easily <laughs> and i look smart all the time and this is what i want to show you now this video is in three parts the first part is what i do while i'm sitting while i'm commuting to work and how i'm able to remember most of the things i've read so i start by reading about the author looking at his experiences problems he has faced and then problems he or she tried to solve after i've done this i know what to expect from the book so i start with the table of content then i begin to look through to see if i'm going to taste swallow chew or digest the information in the book as stated by francis bacon now while seated i don't begin reading as everyone would do i first came every chapter by looking at the headings summary diagrams and then tables if the book has something i would need to know i scan through and then skip the examples and case studies since i already know the problem the author wants to solve if there is an information i'm supposed to know into detail i don't really like the normal way we were taught to read or we we're growing up where you focus on one word at a time i read the words two by two or three by three so my eyes picks three words at a time and that helps me to read faster and this prevents me from reading the words one by one in memory Later in the video, I'm going to show you how I'm able to retain most of the things I've read while commuting, that is walking or sitting in a vehicle. I wouldn't like to read a book because of distraction and I love the e-copy. So I get the audio version from Audible or LibriVox. If it isn't available or it's too costly, I use an app called the Moon Reader. The Moon Reader is able to read the book for me while I walk with my headset. And there's a twist i listen to it in a speed of times two now let me show you how i retain most of what i hear i don't write important points as you do the button i write the important points in a paraphrased form i don't like to use highlighters when i have a physical e-copy or i don't like to copy and paste when i'm with the ebook writing in summary or paraphrasing in my own way helps me to think about whatever i'm reading and helps me remember when i need it if you want to know the source where i get my books from Kindly tap on the video floating on the screen. Thank you and keep studying by yourself. <laughs>